Hello friends this is second part of the series and in this part we will make login and logout code for this system. In any system there are login is the entry of any system for access and logout is exists of system. So we have moved to PHP page. This is our index page after login user will redirect to this page and without login into system, user will not access this page. On this page we have include JavaScript library jQuery and Bootstrap library into this page. First we have moved to write login page code so we have go to login.php page and here we have write form tag with attribute method is equal to post. In this form tag we have make simple login form. Under this first we have define input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to user email. Under this text box user can enter his email id. Below this we have define one more input type is equal to password with attribute name is equal to user password. Under this text box user can enter his password for login to system. Lastly under this form we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to login and value is equal to login. By click this button user can send his login details to server for verification. Now we have moved to write PHP code so first we want to make database connection. So make database connection we have create one database connection dot PHP page. Under this page we will make database connection. So here we have write dollar connect variable is equal to new PHP data object with three argument. In first argument we have write my SQL host is equal to localhost. Database name is equal to testing2. In second username argument we have write dollar username and in third password argument we have write blank. This way we have make database connection. We have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. Now we have go to login.php page and on this page here we have write include statement with database connection.php file name. By using this include statement we have include database connection.php into this login page. So whatever code we have write under database connection.php page, that code we can access here. Then after we have write dollar message variable is equal to blank value, in this value we will store validation message and display on web page. Now we have write of statement and under condition we have write set function with dollar post login variable which is name of submit button. This condition will check if value of this button is set then it will execute if block of code. Suppose value of dollar post login variable value is set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write of statement with condition like empty function with dollar post user email variable or empty function with dollar post user password variable. Here this condition will check if both variable value or one of the variable value is blank then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose both or one of the variable value is blank then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like both fields are required. But suppose both variable value is not blank then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to select star from user details table where user email is equal to double colon user email. Here we have used PHP data object for database operation so here we have write dollar statement variable is equal to database connection string dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. Here by using prepare statement we have make query for execution. Now we want to execute this prepare statement query, so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have write array with key user email with value dollar post user email variable. 
So here we have execute prepare statement query by using execute method and here we have pass data and execute statement by this array. So this way we have execute query in PHP data object. Then after we want to get number of rows affected by this query execution. So we have write dollar count variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method. By this method we can get number of rows affected by query execution and store into dollar count variable. Now we have write of statement and under condition we have write dollar count variable value greater than zero. If dollar count variable is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code. Otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose dollar count variable is equal to zero then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like wrong email address. But suppose dollar count variable value is greater than zero then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement variable with fetch all method. Here we have fetch query execution result and store into dollar result variable by using fetch all method. Now we want to access data from this dollar result variable so we have write for each loop with dollar result variable as dollar row variable. So by using for each loop we can access data of dollar result variable. Under this loop we have write if statement and under condition we have write password verify function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar post user password variable and in second argument we have write dollar row user password variable value get from table. Here we have used password verify function which are used to verify encrypted hash password. Here dollar post user password value get from log in form in simple form and dollar row user password variable value get from user details table which are store encrypted form. So by using password verify method we can verify encrypted password. So if password is matched then it will execute if block of code but suppose password is not matched by this password verify method then it will execute else block of code. Suppose password is not matched with stored encrypted password then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have write dollar message variable is equal to text like wrong password. But suppose password is matched then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have create session user id variable is equal to dollar row user id variable. So here we have create one user id session variable and in this variable we have store user id get from user table. So we can access value of this variable across our system. Below this we have create one more session variable with name username is equal to dollar row username. Here we have create one more session username variable and under this we have store username get from user table. After creating all session variable with value now we want to redirect to index.php page. So here we have write header function and under this function we have write location with page name index.php. This code will redirect page to index.php page. Now we have go to index.php page and here we want to include database connection.php page. So we have write include statement with page name database connection.php page. Then after we want to restrict user to access this page or not log in into our system. So here we have write of statement and under condition we have write not operator with is set function with dollar session user id variable. This condition will check if dollar session type variable value is not set then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write header function with location login dot php page. So if this dollar session type variable value is not set that means user is not logged into our system then he cannot directly access this page and he will redirect to login page. After this we want to write code for logout from system. So here on index.php page here we have write anchor tag with attribute href is equal to logout.php page link and under anchor text we have write logout.
So when user log in into system then on this page he can view this logout link by clicking this link user will redirect to logout.php and he can log out from this system. So for logout we have go to logout.php page and on this page first we have write session start function. This function will start session on this page. After start session on this page, now we have write session destroy function. This function will destroy all session variable across the system, so after removing all session data, so when we have go to index page it will redirect to login page. So for go to login page we have write header function and under this function we have write location with login.php page. This code will redirect to this login.php page. Now we have saved this code and check output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been loaded into browser, then we can see login page not index page. System directly redirect to login page and we cannot access index page without login. So on login page we have directly click on login button then we have received error message like both fields are required. Then after we have again write wrong email and wrong password and click on login button. Then after we have received wrong email address error message on web page. After this we have write proper user email johnsmith at gmail.com and wrong password. Now we have received error message like wrong password on web page. Lastly we have write proper email johnsmith at gmail.com and proper password like password and click on login button. After click on login button page has been redirect to index.php page. That means our login code is working with all validation. After login into system, we can see index.php page in browser, that means we have enter proper details, so system can give rights to access this page and on this index page we can see here logout link. So we have click on logout link, after click on this link, the system has redirect us to login.php page, that means we have logout from this system. So our login logout code is working. Now in next part we will see how login user can share their idea to public and how all user can see content share on his index page. This all things we will discuss in next part, so don't miss to see that video. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.